everyone defines best differently for some people it's the way they look at their phone and how pleasing it is to their eyes for some it's how others look at their phone for some it is that that provides the latest android version while for others that provides customizations and for some who want all of these in the bag that he is going to install on his device so is mezu's io ish flyme 6 os going to be in that bag that we are going to install or preferably you are going to install on your device well let's get started so as you know guys the links for the rom and the gs package will be given in the description box below so you need to download it and you need to store it on your internal storage or your micro sd card and once you have done it you are good to go so you will need root and a custom recovery on your device uh, that is the redmi note 3 so to boot your device into custom recovery mode power of your device on whatever rom that you are running press the power volume up button and the power button together so this will boot your device into the custom recovery that you have installed and in my case i have twrp recovery installed on my device so that is preferable if you have it and so let's just quickly boot up into twrp recovery So once you're into the WRP recovery, as you can see on your screen, hit wipe and go to advanced wipe and select Dalvik system data and cache and just swipe to wipe. So this will wipe everything on your device. So once you're done with that, let's move to install. And from there, you need to select from that is basically browse wherever you have stored the downloaded ROM and the G apps package. Yeah, you need to flash the ROM and then the G apps package. So let's quickly find it out. So as you can see, Flyme Redmi Note three six point seven point fifteen R. So let's just quickly select it and go to add more zips. And from there, you need to select the Open G App six point O Pico. No worries, links for that will be given in the description box below. So select it and swipe to confirm flash. So after you're done with that, go back, hit reboot, and hit system. So this will boot your device into Flyme OS that you have installed. Don't worry, this is just the boot image that I have manually flashed. So this is still the Redmi Note 3 guys. So in case if you are wondering So this is the home screen that you will get upon booting into Flyme OS. So just like every other Chinese ROM like MIUI or any any ROM weird ROM that you might name out there This ROM also does not have any kind of app drawer so all the apps are going to be listed on your home screen. There's a reason why I'm showing this because this ROM is gives you that iOS-ish feeling and let me just show you how the apps open up and what all animations that Meizu has incorporated into Flyme 6. So going into dialer as you can see the opening animations are just like iOS and guys it is very smooth it's not that that's because of it's like iOS so I'm installing it. and it's one of the best and one of the most smoothest roms that i've ever checked out on the redmi note 3 so this is messaging and from here you also get different kind of flyme tools just like with me ui you get a lot of other things from here you get toolbox calendar and calculator weather and that's futile to use because it's not able to track your location the weather app but otherwise location services are working pretty fine you have flyme player camera and i want to point out the bug in the very beginning that if you are planning to use the default camera that is not going to give you a very proportionate image as you can see it's somewhat uh misproportionate i would say uh, if that is the way to put it so i will suggest you guys using a third party camera like i have a third party camera over here so with this you get your pretty decent image and it corrects it so the camera bug is there with the default camera app and if you are using a third party camera the bug is not there i don't know that's pretty weird so let's quickly jump into settings and let's see what android version we have we have it running on android 6.0.1 marshmallow at least we don't have lollipop over here but sad to see that mezu still did not implement no good in it let's quickly go back and see what all customization options we have been given we have notification and status bar we have display notifications show contents display network speed tinted status bar yeah a lot of things and we have personalization Uh, in Flyme style icons, we have a theme engine baked in. Uh, from here, you can also select a few of the themes that we come pre-installed 
or you can also download online theme store yeah we do have a fully detailed online theme store and from this is the status bar and these are your quick settings these are basically your quick toggles from here you can customize everything but the major disappointment for me is that we do not have the settings shortcut over here so every time you need to open settings you need to go ahead press that app icon So let's quickly go back and let's see what all other things we have. We have easy mode and basically you get this in MIUI as well. So nothing much to highlight here. If you are planning to use you know, your phone in a much more simplified way where your major apps will be listed on your home screen. So that is for you. Let's quickly go back and uh, this is a multitasking tray. Perhaps one of the most favorite things for me in this entire ROM. The multitasking tray actually looks pretty good and Apart from Flyme 5, it had a bug in the multitasking tray, it is also solved and from here you can clear all your apps. You also get a security baked in and from here you can also do optimize your phone if you need it. Optimization is suggested as you can see, just like MIUI, this works pretty fine. And guys, fingerprint is working pretty fine over here. Uh, the bug was there in Flyme OS 5 but now it has been solved in Flyme 6 so as you can see fingerprint identification four fingers have been en enrolled so I think that that's pretty much it that's satisfaction for you so let's go back and let's see we have what else do we have we have Mazu account other accounts that's it that's it we have a system update and guys this rom is updated every two week or something as you can see already an update is available and i will be leaving the link for the latest update in the description box below but i did not download it so that's about it so all the bugs that was present with the flyme 5 has been solved in flyme 6 and this is perhaps the best rom that i have ever tested on the redmi note 3 so now let's come uh, jump into the bugs uh, speaking of bugs, I don't really know that if VoLTE is supported because I have not subscribed to Geo, so I am currently using Tata Docomo, so I don't couldn't really check out VoLTE. So you guys have to check it out on your own, or to have to install this ROM at your own risk if you are looking for VoLTE. Other bugs are the default camera app, so just don't use the default camera app and use a third-party camera app like the camera app that I'm using over here currently. And that's all about the cons. Now let's come to the pros. The pros of this device, I'm pretty happy to say that this is the most stable and the fastest ROM that I've ever used in the history of ROMs that I've checked out on the Redmi Note 3. And this is perhaps the most satisfying ROM ever because the animations are just so, so good. As you can see, and it's so fast. And every time you open, you will notice no stutters, there are no lags. That's the main thing that you find a lot of lags with other ROMs. This ROM has no lags. So boy, that's pretty much it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video on the Flyme 6. So if you did enjoy this video, if this video was helpful to you, do give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more such videos on the Redmi Note 3, the Loi Cola 2, Mi 5, Android 1, Euphoria and maybe the Honor 6X or the Moto G5 Plus. I have literally no idea so until next time stay a freak and stay a geek don't forget to follow me on instagram twitter and facebook link for which will be given in the description box below so until next time this has been joel thank you guys for watching